Hello, welcome to the Louvre in Paris and my name is Chantal and I will be explaining you how to go live from your mobile with the new uh, Prism Live Studio app. It's very simple, I thought I'd give you good practice here out and about in Paris. So let's go. Boink. The first thing you have to do is to download the app, which uh, is available in the Apple Store and on Google Play. So when you open up the app, um, this is basically what you see. Um, you have a button here where you can go to front or back camera. Let me push it. You see, front or back camera. Um, you can see your little your little picture, so you know it's you. You have the three little dots. There you can see the mic is on. You can uh, view the screen like in full or just uh, cropped. And um, this is an interesting one. You can be mirrored, but I never like that. So I like, uh, I don't like it to be flipped. And then I have also ticked on save video after streaming. Voila. No, no, ça va. Eh? Um, then what else can you do? Lots of fun stuff. You can swipe, where you can access photos, videos, music, and the web, which you can insert into your um, live stream. That's why it's called My Studio. You can go swipe the other way, which is video only mode. Or you can go here in the middle, and when you click on the little, on that little, little magic wand, you see all the options you have to do fun stuff here on the app. I wanna get out, I'm just clicking and clicking. So let me turn the camera. We wanna get out and let's say we wanna change the color of the screen. So we click on those three little rings and there you can see you can change all the contrasts of the video and there's many of them. More contrasty, so vivid. Even if you click that, you can even cool it down or you can even go to black and white. I always like the black and white option. It just needs a little time to sink in before it happens. There you go, Mona 1. Then you can adjust it as well, which looks very beautiful. Um, and if you click on the little arrow, it's gone again. So this is um, how you can play with contrast. I don't I, I take the n1 filter because it's natural I always like that one of course we want to go live and to go live uh, you see on the side here live video photo so we you can also make video and photo but we want to go live so we click on the white button there we go um, you can see that there is already a periscope sign if I click on periscopes you can select a channel so you can add channels, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope, um, all the other four, I don't know. Or you can make a custom RTMP, which I use a lot because I have more control over my streams. But anyway, we're not getting into that. So you can go direct on YouTube, Facebook and Periscope. Um, I have already put my uh, Periscope in here, as you can see, if I press on periscope I can also make it private if I want I believe can I no I can't so for now it's public okay so it's a public stream I can only be on 720p because if I say 1080 it tells me that periscope can't handle that so we stay on 720 um, adaptive bitrate is on all this is right, auto, 30 frames a second, one second. Okay, here we go. So this is how you can go live. We can put a title, just like normal Periscope. Hello, Paris. And then I can close it. Um, yeah, and then basically we can go live. Should we try it? Let's try it. I don't know if it films, but let's see. 
Okay, starting in landscape mode. Three, two, one, and now we will be live. Hello, hello, my Periscope friends and my Twitter friends as well. We are live at the Louvre, at the Pyramid. And I'm just testing and showing um, my YouTube viewers that this works. Uh, that people can actually see that I'm going live. So let me show you another thing. I just click on the selfie mode. There we are. Hello again. Hi, hi again, guys. So, um, hi, Stacy. So this is a little demonstration how it works. For the people that are watching on YouTube, another thing I want to show you is that you can do these lovely filters. Look here. Happy 2020 and all that kind of stuff. Hi again, hi again, Hel. Testing, testing, yes. So this is for YouTube for the instru uh, instruction video. So I can do lots of fun stuff. I'm going offline now. So make, bonjour again, Paris. So make sure to follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash Chantal TV, because I'm gonna close this stream now. Um, we are at the pyramids. I have no idea how the connection is, but uh, please feel free to tell me. YouTube.com and then Chantal TV, here we go. And I'm going to end it. So I push the end button. Voila. And that was ending the live broadcast. Now you can see that it's safe to the camera call. There were 71 viewers. 1 minute 22. And then I can either open the URL, share or save it. Well, it's already saved. So don't need to do that. If I share it, I can copy or upload. Open URL. It goes to Periscope TV. We don't want that. Voila. That's how you go live. That's how you go live on um, on this uh, Prism uh, Live Studio app. So I hope uh, it's clear. If you have any more questions, let me know. And this is my favorite little thing I can do as well on this app. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and to like. And see you next time. Bye.